I am not gonna make any judgments in this. I will leave that up to you. I'm gonna present a couple different scenarios. And yeah, if we can fill the comment section up with some different thoughts, that'd be perfect. But to me, the, the answer is glaringly obvious, but I don't know, maybe people really are this stupid. Today's video comes from a little instance I saw on a message board. And to fill in some background information and some overall context, right off the get-go, if this sounds crazy, well done to you. Your common sense indicators, your gut instinct indicators, they're firing on all cylinders. But there are some uh, people out there that, now whether or not they believe it, or this is part of the tactic, which we're gonna talk about, but there is, uh, you know, sadly some people do believe it, but whenever I do a video chart analysis, which uh, you know I, I do quite often. It's on a separate uh, you know, YouTube channel, Clay Trader Video Charts. There's a little plug there for that channel. But I do a, just an analysis of a stock. It's very, just here, here's some supports, here's resistance levels, kind of here's the trend, just very basic stuff uh, to try to you know, just help people out and get them interested in the potential and possibilities with charts. But I do these, and then this is formed over the years into a conspiracy theory of, oh, these are a signal for shorts, they're the kiss of death, they are, you know, the, the, the clay trader curse. Like I said, it's really formed and morphed into a bunch of different things. Again, if you're sitting there saying, wait, what? A signal for shorting groups? It, you said they were just neutral charts, right? It's not like you're bashing them. No, I'm not bashing. You can go and watch any of them, but it's not like I'm sitting there saying, this stock is dropping down to here because it's a piece of trash. No, they're very neutral charts. So if you're thinking, okay, well then if they're neutral, then why would, yeah, don't worry. Don't, th don't overthink it, just understand that exists. So relatively recently, I did one of these video charts and then this occurred on a message board. Take note of a couple different things. So the ticker was H-A-O-N. Over on the left here, you can see that the same poster I should note, I didn't bring out the poster's name just cause I don't, you know, maybe they can change, have a change of heart and I don't wanna call them out that much. But they start by, uh-oh, big dump tomorrow. Guess who's here? Don't dump on us, please. So all of those having negative connotations within the context of what I just explained in regards to the whole curse, the whole signal for shorts and all that. And then here's the weird part. You go to the far right and all these posts happened essentially within an entire minute. So within one minute, all these posts happened. Technically looking at the math there, it was a minute and six seconds. All these posts happened. So rapid fire, all, you know, post implying and being surrounded around the same thing about, uh oh, don't dump on us, the price is going down tomorrow. So the way I look at this is, there's one of two cases that is occurring. If this person is a shareholder, which they're trying to make themselves sound to be, then why would you be in the, remember, in the time span of literally less than a minute, uh, you know, give or take a few seconds, be implying all this bearish stuff? Am I saying that you have to be out there just pumping and pumping all it's still the ground. No, I'm not saying you have to be a pumper at all, but if you own shares, why would you do something so negative? Why would you go and do what this person did? Does that make any sense? Again, am I saying that you have to go there and you know, you can always keep it real and say, yeah, that's not looking so good, but to grab onto conspiracy theories and then use those conspiracy theories to put in a three separate post in less than a minute, that, that seems odd. That doesn't seem like it would make any sense if this person actually held shares. Something of value, why do you keep talking about how it's gonna be drop, dropping in value the next day? When you own those shares, meaning your money is gonna be dropped, why, why would you do that? So there's really one of two situations here. The first is, this person is one of the biggest morons that I've ever encountered, or in general, because I see this all the time people that are supposedly shareholders, and then all they start to do is, uh-oh, Clay's here, the uh-oh video, down, implying all this bearishness, bearishness, and they keep hammering home all this bearishness. Why, why would you do that? that? You're a shareholder? I'm sorry, but I just, I just don't believe people are that stupid. Now, if you do, then like I said, I wanna take a, a poll kind of into the comment section. Maybe you think, yeah, you know what, Clay, people really are just that stupid, and they don't understand that if they own something and then they go out there and start bashing on it, start being bearish towards it, you know, they're only helping negative momentum. Some people don't understand that. I don't know. I just have a hard time pe believing that people wouldn't understand, you know, the whole concept of a self-fulfilling prophecy. I own shares. Uh-oh, 
He showed up, so I'm just gonna go out there and start spouting to the world. Dude, I don't know, I, like I said, maybe people are that stupid. I just, I, I think that people would understand that that would be like counterproductive to what they want to happen. But like I said, I'm not sitting here saying that that's for sure. So the second option is that they are a flat out basher. Basher is an extremely uh, popular term in the world of penny stocks and kind of smaller cap stocks. But basically, you know, they are bashing. You have pumpers, which are saying how great things are, and then bashers are saying how bad things are. Now, bashing motivations can come in a couple different, uh, come from a def couple different areas. The one can be that they're actually very clever traders and they just want cheap shares. They realize that maybe they missed some sort of upwards price movement uh, and they are interested in whether it be the company or maybe they're just interested in the chart, but they're interested in one facet or another. But yeah, they, they, they missed the move. They realize they've missed the move. They don't want to chase. So I'll, I'll give them credit in all those areas. Uh, and heck, I'll give them credit here too because they're just, they're making the system work for them. But then they go out there and start to, you know, sell these negative things in order to try to cause a, a sell off. So maybe they make themselves sound like a shareholder, but they're actually not. They just want prices to come down so they can get cheap shares. Yeah, it happens, especially in the penny, penny stock market, small cap market. It is cutthroat out there. And you know, all those helpful people, you know, those are what we call wolves in cheap clothing. Again, am I mad about that? No, I'm not mad. That's just, you know, you can either uh, play the game or get played by the game. It, it's up to you. And these people are just playing the game. The second is they're just bitter. Maybe they took a loss already. They're upset at who knows what, but uh, you know they don't own shares, but they're still hanging around and they're just bitter. So now they're gonna grasp onto anything that they can, even at some silly conspiracy theory, then they'll grab onto that and then start throwing that all over the place. In my opinion, this is what we have in these situations. When you see somebody out there, Again, with this example, talking about the clay trader curse, talking about the kiss of death, talking about all these videos are, are a signal for shorts and blah, 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 all this stuff that would make most rational people go. But I watched the video, it was totally neutral. He didn't say anything bad at all. It was just support, resistance levels and trends. Why? Yeah, for most people, exactly. There's, it's just stupid stuff. But if people can use it either out of bitterness or to get cheap shares, then they will use it. But for somebody to be a shareholder and then grab onto that and throw it out there, again, remember in this situation, three times in less than a minute, it really doesn't make sense. So how do you recognize a basher? You know, the obvious thing which is happening here is when they're throwing such silliness out there, when they're making such silly proclamations such as a video chart being the kiss of death, a curse. Think about it, curse and a I, maybe, I don't know, maybe they're waiting for Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny and all this other stuff. I mean, if they're all into curses in the stock market, whatever happened to supply and demand? Or, you know, some of them get, well, it's a, it's a, it's a signal for the shorts. It's, it's, it's all silliness. And if people are gonna use that silliness as shareholders, so I'm sorry, nobody's that stupid, but could they use it to take advantage of the sheep? Remember, there are all kinds of lazy sheep in the market. I was once one. And that being a lazy sheep led me to investing in a stainless steel muffler company. I wish I could say that was a joke. It's not. So I don't say this in the sense of I think I'm better than people, but there are lazy sheep everywhere. And one of the ways they can be led to the slaughter is, oh no, that's a curse, it's a curse, it's going down. Well, I might as well just sell my stock as soon as possible because it's going down anyways. And then all of a sudden these people are getting their cheap shares or in this case, this person's feeling better because hey, now, you know, misery loves company. Have you ever heard that saying? Now this person has more misery because these people are losing money or, you know, losing out on gains and all that sort of good stuff. So I don't know, leave your comments below. This situation of the person where they posted the, the three things in less than, uh, well, uh, less than what, a minute six? I don't know, are they just the dumbest person ever? Do you really believe that they're a shareholder? Or do you think they had, they're really a basher and they had some sort of ulterior motive being one of these? I'll leave it up to you. Maybe I'm in the wrong here. Maybe I'm giving humanity too much credit in terms of their intelligence levels. Uh, but you know, as a new person, be aware of this sort of stuff. You wanna figure out who is really your friend, who is really trying to help out. Don't, don't fall for stuff that is really stupid and makes no sense when you stop and think about it. Hopefully this helps, especially the new traders out there, especially for those in penny stocks or micro cap stocks, but really, really easy way to recognize a basher Keep in mind concepts like this. 
If you are out there trading alone currently and maybe are in the market looking for a community to join to assist you in your trading or to just help you, you know, give you another set of eyeballs, then I do have a private trading community where you can trade alongside me and other experienced traders. So what you see popping up on the screen right now is both an information link. So if you click on the inner circle one, that is going to take you to the page where I explain all the details of what exactly come with the community, both the chat room and the newsletter. And then the other image that has popped up is a behind the scenes tour where you can see exactly what is going to you know, be contained within the community. I take you through, like I said, a behind the scenes tour of everything. And that way you'll know precisely what you are getting uh, you know, when you join. So definitely check that stuff out if you are interested and thinking about you know, wanting to join a community and let me know if you have any questions.